Okay, so here's an introduction to another of my favourite programs called Poplet for the iPad. Um, Poplet's a really nice little tool for mind mapping. It's ever so simple for kids to get and it just provides more than a, a sort of written record of um, you know, your brainstorm or whatever it is that you're creating because you can add pictures to it and colour code it which makes it nice and then move it around and link it up. So let's click on it and uh, see how we go. You can see uh, that there are two tabs at the top here. One is for the poplets that are on your iPad, but you also have the option of creating online ones. Now I'm on the free account, so that gives me a maximum of five, um, but on the iPad I can make as many as I want. So by pressing on the Make New Popple button up here, the dialog box comes up and first thing I have to do is name my new poplet. And then I have to pick a colour, so in this case I'm going to change the blue to red over here. And then I press Make It So and we're off. So this is the initial screen we get to, and if you double tap the screen, what we get here is this little poplet. That's the basic uh, unit, if you like, of poplet. One popple. I don't know what the plural is. I imagine popples or popli. Tap on it, and you will get the dialog box around the side. So there are four key areas here, which we'll introduce you to one by one. The first one here changes the colour of the popple box. So you've got these very basic colours. I'm going to change mine to blue. The next uh, area that I can touch is this T, and that obviously brings up a text tool. You'll notice on the right hand side here that I can increase the size of the text uh, depending on which one of those I pick, and I can also align it justified right, justified left, or um, in the middle. Having done my popple, let's make another popple and use some more of the features. Double-clicking on any spare space creates yet another popple, and again, if I uh, use the T tool, I can just put some text in there. I've written my text in the second popple, and the main thing that popple is really good for when you're mind mapping is the ability to link your ideas in various different ways. And the way we do this is by these grey buttons on all four sides of the poplet. All I have to do is touch one of these and stretch it out to the other popple I want to connect it to and you get an immediate line straight away. Another thing that we can do is to have a look at the size of the box. Now I've made this one bigger as you can see uh, and it's just by clicking on the little triangle down in the right hand side and dragging it outwards and that can uh, enlarge it to as big as you want basically. And finally we can also simply drag the box around in order to position the box elsewhere and make it look a little bit neater. So let's just create another popple here double clicking this time I'm going to press on the uh, crayon or pencil icon and again I get a little um, menu of colors there. So I'm going to select red, no pink actually, just for the hell of it. And we just use the finger or you can use anything you like to create a little picture. Now this is a fairly awful cat but look you can see whiskers, it's fairly obvious it's a cat. Um, if you press the colour pencil again, it will come up with the different colours again, and I just did the cat's mouth and eyes in black because pink is just not right. Anyway, there's your picture. And again, by stretching out these popples to link with other popples, I'm starting to create a mind map. 
Let's double tap again and we create another poplet down here and we're going to look at the final feature which is the uh, picture icon. Now when you press it, it will give you this dialog box and these are your two options. You can either take uh, a picture from the library that you've already got or you can take a photo. So let's open the library. It accesses the photos that are already on my camera roll and if I press uh, camera roll in fact I would get uh, normally uh, all of the photos that I have taken in there. Now I've selected this one already um, I can rotate it left or right if I want and then when I press done the photo goes into the popple. Having created another poplet down here, I'm going to show you the other option, which again, if you press the picture icon, brings up the photo menu. Uh, this time I'm going to press take a photo. And you can see the camera comes up here uh, with whatever it can see at the time. Make sure it's not covered over. Um, if you press on the little camera button, it will take a picture of whatever you are looking at. Remember, of course, you can take a picture of yourself if you want to reverse the camera. It will then give you the option of either using the one you've taken or retaking it if you're not quite happy with it. So I'm going to press Use. Again, I have the option to rotate if I want to. I don't want to, so I'm going to press Done and in it goes to my new poplet. If I double click on this poplet another dialog box comes up, it's paste text or copy popple. Now I might want to duplicate a popple, in which case I can do that or I can paste some text in it, both of which are fairly self-explanatory. If I just click next to the picture here and click return um, again, I'm going to add some text here, just underneath the picture. So this is the lounge, there we go, we're sorted. And if I press return, that's that. Completely done. So you can see I've now linked uh, a variety of popples together. So I've got some idea of a mind map, but at the moment I can't see everything. In order to see everything, we need to come up to this button up here, View All, and if I press that, it allows me to see everything that I've created in one go. Some other in interesting functions you might lo like to look at up here are the lock button, so that you cannot move any of your poplets anymore. You can change the background color using this one here. And the settings button, means it gives you access to certain new settings like making a new one or multi-selecting popples or selecting all popples and it just makes it easier to shift those around if you want to do that. Finally if we go to the export button in the top right hand side this gives me the option to uh, export it in a variety of formats. So you can see here I can email it as a PDF as a JPEG or I can just save it as a JPEG and if I do that one it will go straight to my camera roll. I'm going to select email PDF and you can see the email dialog box comes up straight away with a representation of my poplet there and I just fill in the address and we're ready to go. So that's how easy it is to use poplet. I hope you've enjoyed it and make use of it for all your mind mapping needs.